So today we complete the first quarter of the league campaign and we're only a few games away from a cup final which we'll do in the next video. And we've also managed to make another signing because why not? Why not? Anyway, let's get into this. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to Joe TV. I'm Jay Leb and this is Football Manager 2022, the master we build a save with Ortgrite and we're going to introduce you to our new signing, the Brazilian striker and winger, Milson. I have no idea why Milson is called Milson when his full name is Edmilson Andrade Silva. I guess it's because he's got Edmilson in his name, but he's been called Milson because why not? It's short. We've signed him eight days ago. He's okay. He's only a two and a half star kind of ability player. He's apparently a striker. I'm training him to knock balls past his opponent because he's got the agility of 17. He's outspoken, volatile and confrontational, but he's fairly ambitious and he's got a transfer value between 110 and 1.1 million. And if we get close to 1.1 million, I think we've made a good business for a player that we signed for free. We've also signed a new contract. Yes, we have officially signed our new contract, which has seen us get a pay bump of 800 pounds so yes, we have officially signed a new contract, which has seen us get a pay bump of £600, which now means that we're being paid per week after tax, and money we were being paid beforehand, or at least the money that was offered to us before. But hey, we're okay now. We've got good money. We're here for another year and a half at the very least. And hopefully, if for some reason we get a big offer for another club, we could at least say, yeah, we've done a full season here or something. I wouldn't be surprised if I get poached by a club in December time or something like that, or after the season completes because of how well we're doing in the cup. So that's a fun time for us. But still, now that I'm talking about the what how we're doing. But still, now that I'm talking about how we're doing, let's go with the games we've had since we last met because we've had six of them. And there are some more difficult games to come. The first game we had was against Hammerby and we went 1-0 down inside 27 minutes and the Winston with the finish giving us a problem. I knew as soon as we had this game that we might struggle but we equalised just before half time in the 44th minute of the game. Ackerman finds Bill Chris, he finds Bentel and Bentel scores his first league goal in the top flight. Unfortunately it wasn't enough for us to do anything else but we at least showed that we could score in the top flight. And we could hang with the bigger teams, which I think is quite nice to know, really, let's be honest. Unfortunately, our next game was his AIK, and they scored this free kick. Salatros was probably the best goal I've seen in a very long time, if ever, before Nelson Dalus scores the second goal to make it 2-0. We fell out of our depth, playing in the biggest ground in the country, but we did at least get a goal back. 71 minutes in, a ball over. Finds Bentel, he finds Paulson, and Paulson scores his first of the season. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to get a share of the spoils. We lose our first ever league game as Orcraft manager, and it took us 33 league games to do it. It just felt so weird to say that we'd gone so long without defeat, and it told me that, yes, we are good. Apparently, we even went 36 games without defeat, and we went an entire calendar year without losing, and just over that as well, so... This is our first defeat in a very long time. It told me that, yes, this is a difficult league and we will struggle at times. But we then took on last year's Spencer Cooper winners, Vazberg, and we took the lead inside three minutes after Lutovec scored the opening goal. The perfect start for us as far as I'm concerned. We needed a good start. Unfortunately for us, we didn't defend ourselves properly and Lina gets the equalising goal very easily. Before we couldn't get a second goal and they went down to 10 men in the last 10 minutes. I pushed my players forward to try and get something. It didn't work. We didn't get shared of spoils. And we only drew one all. In a game I felt we should have won. I know this team is not exactly a terrible team. But I still felt that we should have won this game. And it's a little disappointing to know that we couldn't win. Fortunately for us, we then took on Sunsfeld. And inside 26 minutes in, we're one up. Paulson finds Ackerman. He finds Bentel. Bentel scores his second of the season in the league. And he... He's easy our top goal scorer because he makes it two with a second. Legovec finds Bjorkus, he finds Bentel, and Bentel scores again. The Bjorkus Bentel partnership working once again. It's just a shame we didn't keep a clean sheet in this game, 
but we still at least showed that we're a dangerous team and that we can do well. I mean, the keeper should do a lot better there, but when Lidberg scored, I, I did start to panic a little bit and think, okay, do we need to be defensive? No, we didn't. It was just really bad keeping, and we still held on for the victory. Our first win in three, I couldn't complain because we've had some really difficult games this year already, and it tells me that if we can beat some of the teams around us, we're going to be fine. We then took on Degafors, and for some bizarre reason, we like taking on Degafors. Ludovic plays across to Van Bentel, who scores the first goal of the game inside 47 minutes, so okay, we're doing well here. And here's a mental thing, all our goals in the second half, and we then make it two. Paulson finds Ackerman, he finds Bentel, it's 2-0, 6 minutes in, his second of the game, before he completes his hat-trick, in the 70th minute of the game, because... For some reason, we're doing really well here. Grenfist plays it across, finds Bentel, easy finish for him, 3-0 here. And then we make it 4. In the 80th minute of the game, Paulson plays it across, finds Lutovec, he finds Bentel. Bentel gets 4 goals in the game. And 89 minutes, with 4 0 against Stegger Fords, we beat 5-0 at our ground in the cup. For some reason, we love to take on Stegger Fords, and for some reason... They seem to not like playing against us. No idea why, but we destroyed them. And Bentel got all four goals. I think he's got a hat-trick against him in the cup as well, so let's double-check that. No, he got two goals against him in the cup. He's got six goals against Tekka Force in two games so far, so there you go. Unfortunately for us, the last game we held was against Kelma, and we drew 0-0 despite absolutely dominating this game. I have no idea how we didn't win this game. We did have a goal that was ruled out for offside. And I generally think that if we'd, if this was onside and we hadn't been offside here, we would have won the game. There's no question about it. They had just the one shot, but it's a free kick. I feel like we're very unlucky that's offside because Levick was off when Lutovic scored or had the initial header. Levick being offside and being in front of the keeper was the reason we didn't get the goal. And... It's just unfortunate. But still, we're unbeaten in about four games, and I'm not complaining. Especially since it currently means we are in seventh place. Malmo, we are not even going to talk about them because they seem to be in a league of their own right now. But we do have the third best goal difference in the league. And we are taking on Ulster today, who are somehow in second place. I can't complain about strange seasons because Sirius are the current league champions and Sirius had never won a league title before. So, take that as you will. They're currently down in 10th. The defending champions only 4 points clear of the relegation zone and the relegation playoffs. We're 8 points clear of that. So, I'd like to think that if we can continue this run of form and we can continue to do this well, we could aim for top half finish and maybe, just maybe, try and fight for the right to be in the top six. Is that ambitious? That, that might be ambitious when you consider the fact we're now only considered the 11th best team, but hey, if we can get a top six finish, then who knows, it'll be good. I mean, the top seven are apparently the best seven in the league and are in a world of their own, but we've been Gothenburg, who are currently in the relegation zone. I don't know what's happened to Gothenburg, but if they get relegated, it would really be a big moment for them to say okay we've got the wrong manager um yeah league champions just two years ago are now in the relegation zone after seven matches i don't think they'll be relegated but it'd be i very ironic as far as i'm concerned if they do go down in the year that i'm actually getting a team promoted uh or at least a, a team in the first season in the top flight almost 20 years and potentially winning a cup it would be ironic that being said we've actually got a Three games between ourselves and that cup final. I'll be back in another game for that. Actually, we've only got two games between us in this match. So yeah, we will do this game as a live com in a video by itself. There's no question about it. There's too much of a opportunity to not to do that, really. Let's be honest. Still though, we are taking Allsters. If we win, we could go and match them in terms of position and go above them. If we draw, we could be at the top half. And I Still can't believe that's a possibility, but there you go. Your gardens are always up there as well. How be a take on Gothenburg? So Gothenburg's start could go from bad to worse. Given that we beat them at home, away from home in the first game of the year, it's not a good sign. But Hamby are not a bad team either. The fact that it's so tight between second 
and ninth place teams is ridiculous, but Malmo just in a world of their own. They've got the biggest gap from any position to any other thing, and it just says a lot how big, how well they've done. Seven wins out of seven, you can't match that. Still, I want to show that we can do this. Also, um, bit of a problem. 16's got food poisoning. I'm told I should play him. Am I mental for thinking I should play him? And I've been told I should play him. But I'm actually considering doing it. So we're going to put a goalkeeper that's got food poisoning on the pitch. If he needs to be subbed out because he's thrown up, then that's not much I can really do. I've never seen a situation where that could possibly happen. I would never do this in real life. But given that I've been recommended to do this, I'm a backroom staff. I'm going to do it just because it might be a good idea. Still, let's take on our opponents and hope that we can beat them again because we've been twice last year, if I recall correctly. Can I, I'm going to double check that now. Did we beat them twice last year? I swear we beat you twice last year. We did. There we go. Apparently, before I took over, they had a, hell, they had a horrific record against this team. So, let's win. So, very awkward moment. I actually forgot to talk about my starting line, but 16, Gustafsson, Milan, Glevic, Renvisk, Vesna Tisic, Ackerman, Bjorkris, Lotovec, Filikovic, and Bentel are the starting lineup. Um, I should have done it earlier, but I kind of forgot. So, awkward times. They got a corner. I know they're doing really well as a lay. They won three in a bounce, but I just didn't think I'll be talking about this team doing well against me when we're both in promoted this year. Okay, so we've got the ball here. Milan, here's Ackerman. Now Milan again. Vesna Milan, Ackerman. Is Ludovic and Bentel. What can Bentel do? He forced out wide. Can still play inside. Has done. Finds Ackerman. I don't know how that's gone in, but I'm gonna. I'm not gonna complain. Kevin Ackerman with his first goal of the year. It's not his first ever goal to my knowledge, but he scored. How has this gone in? Let's just be. I do not know how this has gone. In. It looks like it's been. It's hit the floor or something. Oh, he's hit the defender. Oh, well, caught the poor keeper. Can't do anything about that. Here's Ludovic, and we know he can do good stuff here. Plays the cross, been blocked, and Bonner finds Sturm, who's literally just finding its way to Milan. We are so easily dominating this game right now. It's ridiculous. Ludovic, Zelikovic, plays a good goal. Oh, what a finish. Zelikovic scores. We could be about to win our fourth game of the year and go second as things stand. But what a start this is. I After the initial effort, I thought it would struggle a bit more. But no. Ulsters, again, not enjoying playing against us. And again, we're beating her. What a finish that is, by the way. Good lord. All right. So two and a half time. We're looking good. There's no other games playing right now, apparently. Or if they are, they're both nil-nil. And we're going to be up in second place regardless because of result between teams elsewhere. Gortenberg, unfortunately, would be out of relegation zone. But hey, we'll be 10 points clear. After eight games. That's not a bad start. Free kick. And Ludovic takes it. Not the best free kick. But Ackerman on the ball now. Finds Ludovic anyway. Finds Sedekovic. Play back to Ludovic. And that. I'm amazed that's not pound. But okay. I'll take it. How are they losing to Gothenburgs now? Which I just realised. But Restelund. Here's Bertson. Last and plays it forward. And we should be there first. We are. Gustafsson finds Vesna Tesic. The ball four is not great, and Bonner on the ball now, and Lutovic gets the ball back. Really well done. Ball four to Bentel. Bentel gets his 18th, 16th goal of the year. His eighth in the league. Yes, eighth in the league. But we're three new up, and we're looking very, very good indeed. The control that we wanted is established. The three goal lead. Lutovic did really well to win the ball back initially, and then the keep in play, and then find Bentel. And bent out the simplest of finishes in the end. You know what I'm finding to be a problem? Because of how well Ludovic's doing, I might generally struggle to keep to uh, drop him when the new player arrives. <laughs> I've just I've already got two new wingers coming in, and one of them's been in the form of his life right now as we have to block a shot and we get the ball back. But yeah, I'm so busy focusing about Ludovic that I'm generally not sure what to do. So dual cards and technically in their game, so they will be going above us, as being said. But Paulson, Bentel. Bad stop, bad, bad delivery from the keeper. But Paulson now on the ball. This formation just works wonders. You just don't really find a weakness, I find, at this point in time, at the moment. We're just so solid at the back and attacking wise. 
Paulson. Ball through to Tilakovic. He's made it for his second of the game. If it wasn't already over, it definitely is now. 4 0, and we're looking very, very good. I just love the fact that we're doing so well right now. It's probably the easiest job in the world when you're managing a side that just knows what they're doing. And as a new player team, this should, it feels so easy right now. It really does. And there we go. 4 0 winners. We absolutely decimated this team. And I love how good we are sometimes. I really do. The fact we are so dominant is useful. And Gothenburg actually did win against Hammerby in the end. So they are now out of the relegation zone as things stand. Jorgales did win to so go into second place above us. But our goal difference is now plus 10. If we can keep this up, we might legitimately look like one of the best teams in the country. And I can't believe I'm saying this. But could we really be looking at a top three finish? Or even a top six finish? I joked about a top six finish being a target. But now... Looking at this table after eight games, could that really be a target we can aim for realistically? I like to think we're doing really well right now. I really do. And yeah, here we are. We've gone five games unbeaten. We've not considered the last three matches. And yes, we've dropped points twice, but we have done really well otherwise. We've considered twice in these last five matches. We've scored 11 times two. So... We know what we can do, and I think that we are a very good team. Our cup finalist opponents are not going to enjoy playing us. I don't think they will, and it's an exciting time to be a manager of this club and to be a supporter here. It really is. If way, though, I'm going to end this here. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. I hope you guys will like and share this video, and that you will subscribe to the channel. It really does help me a lot. Do you think... We can get a top six finish in the league. Or do you think I should be aiming higher? And what do you think we're going to be doing in the cup final in tomorrow's video? I really want to hear your thoughts and opinions down below. But either way, until next time, goodbye. And well, good night.